Good evening, and now for the latest updates. One new positive COVID-19 case was recorded from Bintulu today. This makes it the 557th positive case in Sarawak so far after the state recorded zero cases for five consecutive days. According to the Sarawak Disaster Management Committee SDMC statement released today, the new case was detected in a Muka Public Higher Learning Institution student who went home in Bintulu last March. The female student was tested positive following a directive from SDMC to screen all higher learning institution students coming back to their respective hometowns. Bintulu District today has been downgraded from a green zone to yellow zone. The Padawan Police has issued compounds to two traders in Moyan Square, Batukawa for failing to adhere to their standard operating procedures. Padawan District Police Chief Aidil Bol Hassan, when contacted by Borneo Post, said both individuals failed to follow the SOP, which are to ensure social distancing, writing down the names and phone numbers of their customers and conduct a temperature check. He added that both individuals had been given advice and warnings by the police in the last few days to follow the SOP. However, the advice fell on deaf ears. Both were compounded under Regulation 10 of the Prevention and Control of Infectious Diseases Act, Measures Within the Infected Local Areas No. 7, Regulations 2020. The offense is punishable with a fine not exceeding 1,000 ringgit or imprisonment for a term not exceeding six months or both. Malaysia's border will remain closed to travelers unless they have pressing matters to address. Senior Minister Dato Sri Ismail Sabri Yaakob, however, said there is an exception for foreign diplomats and those under the Malaysia My Second Home program. He added Malaysians will need a good reason to travel out of the country and apply to the Immigration Department for permission. Sempadan negara operasi benteng ataupun OPS benteng yang melibatkan AT, Angkatan Tentera Malaysia, Polis Diraja Malaysia, Agensi Penguatkuasa Maritim Malaysia dan Agensi Keselamatan Sempadan Malaysia mengawal ketat sempadan negara secara bersepadu daripada dibolosi oleh pendatang tanpa izin bagi mengekang jenayah rentas sempadan selain menyekat penul penularan wabak COVID-19. Ismail Sabri further said the no travel policy also applies to athletes who need to travel abroad for championships or competitions to qualify for the Olympics. And that is all news updates for today. Thanks for tuning in. I am Razi Ahmad for TV Sarawak. Anytime, anywhere.